Hey everyone, welcome to The Dark Confidants. I'm Corey, bringing you another Popper Commander gameplay video. Um, as you may notice from the background, I am in a new place. I uh, have recently moved, so I'm probably going to keep this commentary pretty light. Probably just come in at the end of the video for this game. Uh, still unpacking and all that stuff, so been busy with that, but wanted to at least get uh, an intro and an outro recorded for this game and get it out uh, for everybody to view. Uh, anyway, with that having been said, let's take a look at the decks everybody's playing for this game as well as their opening hands. First up, we have Dalton on Indulging Patrician. His opening hand contained Chromatic Star, Dusk Legion Zealot, Read the Bones, Orzhov Guildgate, Unknown Shores, A Plains, and A Swamp. Next, we have Matt playing Arome of the Dead Tide. His opening hand contained an Expedition Map, Calastria Healer, Mizium Skin, Priest of the Haunted Edge, Teardrop Kami, A Snow Covered Island, and A Snow Covered Swamp. After that, Kelsey is back on Mowu Loyal Companion. Her opening hand contained Ancient Animus, Arbor Armament, Armory of Aroas, Explore, Opal Palace, and Two Forests. And to round us off, I'm playing Rocco Cabaret Caterer. My opening hand contained a Leapkin Druid, Pilipala, Snow Covered Forest, Two Snow Covered Plains, and my two London Mulligans were a Mind Stone and Nature's Claim. Now let's jump into the gameplay and find out who will achieve greatness at any cost. Alright, go to Dross. I'm going to play Orzhov Guildgate, and there's a Battlefield Tap, nothing fancy, fast turn. I'll play a Snow Covered Island, and I will tap that for a Expedition Map, and I will fast turn. Okay. Forest and fast turn. Okay. Draw. Um, I will just do Snow Cover Plains and Pass Turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. I am going to play a Swamp. I'm going to tap black and a color for Dust Lead and Zealot. When there's a battlefield, you draw a card, you lose a life. Drew a card, lose a life. <laughs> Pass Turn. Right. Uh, untap. Draw. I will play a Snow Covered Swamp, tap both to play Expedition Map. Sight like that. You're getting a Snow Covered Swamp. Snow Covered Swamp. And I will pass turn while I shuffle. Forest, A2. For an Explorer, you may play additional land this turn. Um, so I will put down an Opal Palace. And you draw. And I draw a card. Well, I don't like that okay. at all. And I will pass turn. Okay. Is that how you base what hand you keep if you have Opal Palace? No. <laughs> I just ended up getting it twice. <laughs> um, I will play this totally snow covered forest. It's supposed to be one but I was short. Oh my god. You're fine. <laughs> uh, I will pay two to play Leafkin Druid. Um, it taps for green or two green if I have four more creatures. And I will pass turn. Okay. The command tower. I'm gonna tap all three for my lady. First commander, oh, we're gonna swing one of you, Matt. And then we're gonna pass our own tap. I will draw. And I'll play a snow covered island. And tap all three to bring out Arami. And I'll pass turn. Play a forest. Me too. To get out Armory of Pyros. That's true. Dalton's uh, <laughs> made great use out of that. It's a great card. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Alright, untap. Draw. I'll play another planes. Uh, gotta play something. Eh, he's a good blocker. I'll play two to cast Hilly Palo. And. Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it also lets me filter mana colors. If yeah. Draw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play on planes. Tap one black for supernatural stamina, targeting indulgent partisan. I swing three in the air. Keep going at you, man. Three gain three. And pay. Important to me. 
pay three for scry the bones. Scry two, then draw two cards, you lose two life. Put this on top, put this on bottom, draw the two, one, two, and lose two. One, two. That's a two. <laughs> and that is it. Super interesting. It falls off. Last turn. Mm -hmm. Also three. Yep. Yep. There we go. <laughs> now it's your turn, good sir. Draw. I'm going to play a snow covered swamp for turn. I'm then going to pay one and black to play Priest of the Haunted Edge. My pass turn. Okay. I'll pay two for three visits. So, first, um, I'm probably actually just going to pass turn after that. Okay. Yeah, so I'll shuffle as you go. Cool. Untap. Draw. Play snow covered forest. Okay. Uh, move to combat, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. I'll attack you with one in the air. Okay. Uh, second main phase. I will pay two and to untap Pilipala to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. I'm going to add red. I'm gonna cast Faithless Looting. <laughs> Draw two, discard two. I'm gonna discard Barrington Medic and an Elvish Mystic. Um, and just to go ahead and do this just to save time, I'm going to basic land cycle and Ash Barrens. I reveal a snow covered mountain. Um, that's gonna go into my hand. So the graveyard, and I'll pass turn as I'm shuffling. Untap. Draw. Cabria crossroads and there's a battle tap, but I gain two life. One, two. Then we are going to play two for a charcoal diamond and there's a battlefield tap, and then we are going to pay two for Vermin Gorger. Um, so gain two life this turn. I'm gonna go ahead and swing in. Let's get a U mat. But then I gain my third life return. Move to end step. You all take three. And there we are. End right, tap, draw. Playing for turn. Snow covered swamp. Sacrifice. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Targeting your commander. Yep. So she gets minus six. Five. Minus five. He goes away. Um, then I'm going to. One, two, three, four, black. To play Slum Reaper. When it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. So I'll sacrifice Slum Reaper. Yeah. That's Legion. Um, I don't have one. Yep. Druid. And at that, I will pass turn. Okay. Forest. I'll pay one into Opal Palace, and then two, three, four to get out Malu. We've seen that before, where he comes in with the two counters because of Opal Palace. Mm -hmm. and I think. Yep, I think that will do it. So he is now out. Pass turn. Okay. Tap. Draw. Play the mountain. Everybody knows about. All right. I'll uh, tap five. Nine colors and two. Cast Rocco. X equals two. Assuming he's good. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I reveal an Aegis Automaton. So I can pay four and a white into that, so five total. Uh, return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. With that, I'll just pass turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Unknown choice for land for turn. Pay five for my lady. back 
go. A two. Our Mallory spare. And then let's pass turn. Okay. I'll untap. Control. I'm gonna tap a blue to play Vizium skin on Arami. So it gets zero one and as hexproof until end of turn. A four. So I'm gonna tap a Arami. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going for. That's why. Yeah. I'm gonna exile three, so I'll exile Mizium, Expedition, and Priest, and bring back to the board for one, two, three, four, Slum Reaper. So everybody sacrifices three creatures if you have them. Because three copies will come in, <laughs> yeah, I sacrifice right, all three right. Slum Reapers, and everybody sacrifices three. Oh. It's just a, it's for Okay, yeah, pass turn. Okay. Okay, forest. One, two, three, four, five, six. It can work. So pay one into Opal Palace. Yep. And then tap everything. Do it again. Do it again, but this time because it's um, the number of times it's been cast from the command zone. It's going to have three. It's going to have three counters. So there we go. Um, but then that's it, Pastor. Okay. All right, well, I think I'm not winning this one. Pay one, cast an Arbor Elf, and uh, just have to pass turn. Okay. Untap. <clears throat> Draw. <laughs> Pay seven. <laughs> yeah. Bring her back out. How many times I got to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> A lot. I'm a very slow learner. <laughs> pass turn. <Okay. laughs> Untap. You just wouldn't have attacked me so aggressively. <laughs> yeah. Lands for turn. Evolving Wilds, I'm gonna go ahead and snap it. Sure. Might as well get a start filling that up again. And at least the creature's exile. Yeah. Truly yes, yeah, no, that, that definitely brings her back down to earth. Yeah. One, two, and a blue. To play Sage's Road Denison. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play one more blue for Teardrop Kami. Sacrifice Teardrop Kami, tap or untap target creature. Blue, mill two. Yep. It's a Norit and a Vengeful Dead. Pay my one, two, sacrifice. Sacred cards, yeah, fill that graveyard up. Oh, yeah, it goes to tap. Yeah, yeah, it goes to really tap. Island, and on that, huh. on that's turn. <laughs> if I didn't do it, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I know, I know, I know. Sorry, everyone. Hey, do take that. Pay two for uh, Kajar, uh, Kujar Seed Sculptor, mm. and then pay two for Ancient Animus with a plus one plus one counter and target creature you control. If it's legendary, then it fights target creature and opponent controls. Um, so this will go to. That'll max out six, you'll get one six, more. And I'll get one more. And now it'll fight something. <laughs> now it'll fight something. I do think I'm gonna make it target around me. Okay. 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 And then I will swing, which will add. Yeah, that triggers armory. More. So it's gonna be a 11 11. 12 12. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 12 12. And 12, it doesn't 12. tap. It's got. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's, I yeah. always do that. Yeah. I keep forgetting it's about it. Yeah, it is. Shh. Yeah, that can go away. Um, we don't want to swing it at. 12 12. I feel like I'm going to swing it at you, Dalton, just because you have My life total is high. Yeah. 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 And fast turn. Is that all? That's all. That's all she's going to do. Yeah. Print tap. Draw. The board state has changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll pay two, three, four, five to cast Totem Guide Heart Beast. So I'll just reveal presence again. So I got it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. Get that. Let's do. One white 
black, but that doesn't matter. We're going to do Ritual of Rejuvenation. I'm going to gain four life and I'm going to draw a card. One, two, three, four. Draw. Super cool campus in his baffle tap, land for turn. And then we're going to pay two. Sacrifice this, get two basic lands, reveal them, and put them in my hand. And from that, I'll move to end step. I gain four. You guys all lose three. And I'm going to get a swamp and eight planes. Okay. There's the planes. And there's a swamp. And pass turn. Yep, yeah, there we go. And it. Black, and then three to get her. That's all I need to pay to get her back, right? Uh, how five. many times have you cast her? Just, just one. once. Just okay. once. So five. So yeah, five. Mm -hmm. So Rami's back. Um, on top of that, I'll. Oh, and I mill two with yep. Citrus mm -hmm. Denson. So I'm going to mill a Mind Rack Harpy, fun, fun, and an Island. Okay. So I will send Sage's Row Denizen at you. So two, three. And I'll pass turn. Okay. <clears throat> and a forest. Pay four for a Hunt the Week. Um, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, then that target creature fights a uh, target creature you don't control. Mm -hmm. So this will go to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did say I would lay off of you a turn, so I'll do this one. Yeah, that's fine. I've okay. got my use out of the Heart Beast. Okay. And then I will just swing at Dalton. And you beast out, because <laughs> you have more. Oh, that's right. That's right. I do get two more. Because um, um, of our row. Mm -hmm. I misplayed. I shouldn't have played this land. I should have played something like this because then I could have rebuked it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. But it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, and one, two, three. Um, map the waste. Um, search your library for a basic land card and put it on the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library, bolster one. And that's choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control. Um, so, fortunately, it's not going on now. Fortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. But it'll go on. The seed sculptor and put yeah. plus one plus one counter on it. So um, I'll do that, but I'll pass turn while I'm searching. So she's just gonna use that to insult us and kill us with the probably yeah. two three. <laughs> yeah. so you just get a basic. To basic. The... Mm -hmm. Okay. And it and there's tapped and then yeah. I shuffle. Okay. Yep, that's it. Everyone tap and draw. Um, <laughs> play a botanical plaza. I'll, I'll I'll show this right because why not. Um, I uh, drew this after you killed, maybe sacrifice Pili Pala. I'm just going <laughs> to channel uh, careful cultivation. So I'm going to create a 1 1 green human monk creature token with tap at 1 green. This will be a 1 1 human that can tap for green. Uh, so I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. Uh, untap. Um, so I'm going to tap a Rami. Yep. I'm going to targeting to target for one, two, three in the black mind rack harpy. I'm going to exile Esther Panorama and a Snow Island because I only have to do two now because it makes oh, two yeah, copies. Oh yeah, you only make two copies. Yeah. Um, I'm then going to sacrifice Teardrop Kami to tap or untap target creature. I'm going to untap a Rami. Mm. Sacrifice that. Um, then I'm going to tap a Rami. Yep. Two, one, two, three, the black. For Vengeful Dead, exiling Norit and that. So moving to combat, everybody mills three cards. Okay. Now that's multiplied by two, so it's six. We mill six, right? Yeah. Um, I know of Aggressive Instinct, A Forest, A Stony Strength, uh, Soul's Might, oh, that would have been so that fun, been, yeah. Forest, and um, Snare Disguise. I did yeah. Snow Swamp, Snow Swamp, Snow Island, Curly Dark Tidings, Snow Island, 
Mine's done. Jeez, you didn't really get hurt at all. Um, um, Fertile Grounds, Priest of Titania, a Snook Over Plains, that's three. Yeah, <clears throat> Druid of the Anima, Abundant Harvest, and a Snow Covered Plains. Um, so, on combat, declaring combat, I'm going to send a Mind Rack Harpy at each of you, just 3-3 three, three flying, along with a Vengeful Dead, which is a 3-2 on the ground. So, yeah, both of them have to attack us, so I, mm, I take yeah. 6. Oh, so that one says 3 You can block him if you want. You can block that one. The Harpy's yes, flying. The... You, you moved in step. In, in step, everybody, you both take 4 damage from Vengeful Dead. Is re exiled. Because it's every time a zombie dies. When it goes into the graveyard. When it goes when it goes into the graveyard. Yeah. When okay. it, or another zombie goes into the graveyard. So yeah. it sees. It sees each, each other. copy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've passed her. So. Okay. That's her one. You, you got a kid. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> Alright. I think I just attack and I'll just yeah. <laughs> kill somebody. Yeah. This is going to be, oh, two, three, so six, 12, 15, 18. So that definitely kills you. And then I'll just send. Is Malu flying? Two. Mm -hmm. But he's got trample. Oh, yeah, yeah it's just kind of. Yeah. Because yeah. I would block three and. Oh, yeah. And well, see. no, hold on. That's for 18? 18? Mm-hmm. Block three. Oh, yeah, because that would put you at one. 15. 15, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And okay. still have a turn. Yeah. Do you gotcha. no, yeah, keep I mean, an attacker or? Um, well, I mean, I could use both to attack you, and then that way the rest yeah. of the damage comes through from yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ujar. So I'll just do that. I'm fine with that. Okay, so you attack okay. both of Matt. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boom. All right. My turn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I die. I get a <laughs> get one turn just for funsies, right? Yeah. Play mountain. Um, I'll play it out because everybody knows I've got presence of God in hand, so I just have to play to that, even though there's no chance that I actually get another turn. So I pay Naya and then two for the commander tax, and then one. To, I'll tap Barber Elf to untap a forest and then tap that to make. No, I'll actually just tap this for it to make three. So I'll cast Rocco, X equals three, at the bottom of the deck. I'll grab a Midnight Guard, and I'll just have to pass turn and then die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing fun. I just tap you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll block with these three. Oh, and she would untap and yeah. I would tap her again. So just to send more. And this would become that. So it would be a 20. Right? Chunky boy. Yeah, yeah 20 and two. So 22 total. Yep, I die. Okay. All right, and there we have it. Kelsey takes the win with Mobu there. Uh, this was the final game of a set that we played with these decks. Uh, probably won't be bringing these back for a while since we did get a fair amount of videos out of these. Um, hopefully everyone enjoyed watching these. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the game. Also, if there are any uncommon commanders that you'd like to see featured uh, as a commander on this channel, let us know. We'll try to get around to those. Um, and as always, thank you for stopping by and join us next time where we'll find out who will achieve greatness at any cost.